I'm Miss Rachel with the St. Mary Parish Library System. I was just reading up on chameleons. Did you know that there are more than a hundred different kinds of chameleons? Also, most of the chameleons in the world live in Africa. They like the hot weather. So, for today's craft, we're going to actually make our own chameleon. His name is Leon. He's my best friend. Okay, so let's get started. In our bags today, you received two pom-poms, two googly eyes, two sets of feet, a red slip of paper that's going to be used for the tongue, another long sheet of paper that's going to be used for our tail. Everybody received uh, one little thing of paint and a clothespin and our two pipe cleaners. All you're going to have to have is a pair of scissors, a paintbrush, and some glue. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our clothespin and we're going to get our paints and we're going to paint our clothespin. doesn't take a lot of paint and if you want to put gloves on before you start that's good too but a little mess doesn't hurt it comes off with soap and water All right, to do that side we're just gonna lay it down and get the inside all right so once we're finished painting our clothespin Let's go ahead and put our paint bag and put that to the side. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue our pom-poms and our eyeballs. Be careful, they are small and they like to try to get away from you. Over there, we're gonna put it to the side and let it dry. So now we're letting our clothes pin dry and we're letting our eyes dry. So while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and cut out our two sets of legs. So our legs are cut out, now all we're going to do, our tail and our tongue are already ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to come on over to our pipe cleaners. There's not a big difference in the length, but they are two different sizes. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the longer piece and we're going to make some waves. You see how Leon over here? Has his little waves that's what we're gonna do just take your finger all right okay now I know in the picture it's standing up you can see here that it's standing up I find that one kind of difficult and um, it took pretty long time for the glue to dry so I think that the one where it's laying down here is actually better 
So what we're gonna do is take our clothespin and we're going to take one of the sets of legs, just put a little glue on it. Open up your clothespin and push that back as far back as you can get it. And that's going to be his front set of legs. Then we're going to go ahead and take the second set of legs, pull a glue on the bottom of that one, and put that in the back. So that'll be his back legs. All right, now we're gonna take the red sheet of paper and we're just gonna wrap it around our finger to make his tongue a little curly. So we got it wrapped up. Gonna take a little bit of glue. Now we're gonna push open the clothespin just a little bit. Stick that right in there. And when you close the clothespin, it'll help it stay in place. All right, so after we've done that, we're gonna glue on, we're gonna glue on our, our first pipe cleaner that we had. You can put a trail of glue from the front to the back. And just lay it on there and let it dry. We're gonna give that a minute to dry. So while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and get our tail ready. We're gonna take our other sheet of colored paper and then our last pipe cleaner and we're going to glue that just straight down the line on there all right so while we're letting this one dry what we'll do is we'll put our eyes on and that's just going to be a drop of glue and we're going to carefully set that one on. We're just going to set those on side of each other. And for our last piece for his tail, I know it's not dry all the way, we're gonna be really careful. We're gonna go ahead and just um, curl curl the pipe cleaner a little bit. It's usually best to let this stuff dry a little bit more. But put a pe put a drop of glue at the bottom and it's set that right behind his second set of legs. And just let that dry. And after your, um, after your pipe cleaner is actually glue on the tail, you can take it and you can form it into a little, a little circle like that to give him some um, cuteness on his tail. So, there you go. You'll have your own special little Leon or whatever you want to call him. Y'all have a good day.